I am so excited to finally be able to show off my new White Nights watercolors. I've had these for a while and I realized that the first time I used them on camera was when I lost my voice and couldn't do a voiceover so I've decided to properly introduce them to you guys. White Nights were my first professional watercolors. I brought the 12 set before probably about a year or two ago and since then I've tried a lot of other brands and this is still my favorite. So this time I brought the 24 color set and the reason for that is specifically for this plastic case. I really wanted somewhere I could put all of my favorite watercolors in. They have a bigger set that also come in the same plastic case. I think it's a 34 color set. But the thing is, that is full. And the reason why I got this one is because it has space between the colors where I could put some of my other half pants in. And I really like that. But more importantly, when you're choosing which set you want to buy, I actually recommend the new sets they have that comes in this beautiful metal case because I think the full set of that are all light fast colors which is awesome and I found that out from another art youtuber that I really like her name is Sarah Bailey I also found out from her channel that some of the colors in this set that I bought are fugitive colors so they aren't light, light fast the new ones in the metal case are all light fast so all of those colors will last really well they will age really well so i knew all of these before i bought mine and i still went for this older plastic set because i really like how this feels and i can keep all of my other pants inside i also don't care so much about light fastness for most colors for especially for secondary colors because usually i mix my own colors anyway but i still will use them use them for my sketchbook paintings like i did for my last video now as i'm doing my swatches i realized that white knights are one of those watercolors whose swatches aren't really that impressive i feel the same way about my prong watercolors which is also one of my favorites so I have no idea why this is because both of these watercolors feel more vibrant when you actually go to paint with them. And I've seen a couple art YouTubers say the same thing. And maybe it's because usually when you're swatching, it's also the first time you're using the watercolors. And so I feel like you're more light-handed when you do the swatches. Having said all that, there is a few colors in here that just are weak and also very streaky. So I was surprised by, especially by Yellow Ochre and is it Raw Sienna? Where they felt really hard to swatch and it felt like there wasn't that much pigment in there while I was swatching and so it felt really streaky. And I realized that I didn't notice that before with the older set is because I don't use these colors almost at all. But definitely keep that in mind when you're thinking of buying these because I know these colors are staples in a lot of people's palettes. So it might not matter too much to me but it might to you and just keep that in mind when you want to buy these. I also want to compare these to my Magello watercolors talking about vibrancy because those were amazingly vibrant watercolors and also they have this whole line that is that are all single pigments so those colors will mix really well together they will mix really cleanly and I'm trying to understand a reason why I prefer the White Knights better even though they aren't as punchy as those ones and the colors are still vibrant but it's not as vibrant as the Magellos so maybe it's it's just a personal preference, but I'm less intimidated by the White Knights. And also it's be it because they come in full pants, which by the way, I also found out from Sarah's video that they aren't the same size as regular full pants. They're a little bit smaller, but still these colors are big. And so they invite me to want to paint with them and also experiment with them more.
now I want to talk about this actual painting that I'm doing. I had this idea to use the secondary colors in a piece because usually I work mainly with the three primary colors and so I wanted to challenge myself I guess for <laughs> this one and I actually ended up liking the color scheme and of course these are very bright and vibrant colors so I was scared that they might compete with each other but another great thing about the white knights is that they can go from being so vibrant but they're also very subdued if you want them to be i think it's by adding water to them so they have a lot of range and i keep comparing them to the michellos i'm so sorry but those just feel like vibrant all the way through so you you want to use them for different reasons i feel like if i'm painting something that's really bright and punchy like flowers and all that, I would go for my Magellos, but if I was doing my portraits like this one, even though I am more inclined to use vibrant colors anyway for my portraits, I would still go for the white knights. I am using my hot pressed paper for this painting and I'm realizing just now how much te the texture of the paper affects how your watercolor painting looks because before I kind of just thought it was just a different feel when you're painting but no, the actual look of your painting really does look different and I think it's because of the way the watercolors dry more it has more of like raw edges with the cold pressed because they have a rougher texture but with the hot pressed, the paint really just easily melts off onto each other and I really ended up liking it for this piece Back to the colors that I chose for this painting, because I'm, because I'm planning to sell it, I'm careful to use light fast colors because if someone were to buy this, they might want to display it and I don't want, I just don't want this, these colors to fade over time. Usually that won't matter because I, I haven't really thought about selling any of my paintings at all. Like this is the first one where I'm toying with the idea. So as much as I love the violet in this set because it's amazingly beautiful, it's only rated one star for light fastness. So I'm keeping that in mind and I chose to mix my own violet this time. But for for my sketchbook paintings, I am I'm I'm gonna use that anyway, like I did for my last video. So I just love how all of these colors work together. They just build and build and you still have the layers underneath showing. Especially for the hair where you can see how all of those colors are working on top of each other. That's really exciting to me. I don't usually like green as a highlight color. I usually go for warmer highlights with cooler shadows. But I just love that emerald green in this set so much. And if you look at the swatches I had uh, with the label labels I put in there, this is also rated to with three stars for light fastness, so that's amazing. And if you see the blank square, that's code for very transparent. If it's half filled in, that means it's semi-transparent. And if it's completely black, that means the color is opaque, basically. So, like a lot of the cadmium colors you'll have. So uh, unlike all of my other paintings, this was meant to be this was meant to be a lighter, like a lighter looking piece. Usually my paintings are super saturated, but I already know that that look is I can already achieve that. I already know I can achieve that with my white knights. And so I'm going for a different direction this time. And that's why I am also inking on this one, just so I can contrast the lighter colors. One other interesting that I did for this one was to use white gouache with my watercolors to get a more opaque paint. Just for the just for those little final touches, um, I could have just done it with the gouache, with like all gouache, but 
was easier for me to use the colors that I already mixed and are already in my palette and then just add more white to that just so I can get like a very like an accurate color mix and it actually worked really well I was surprised by how well the white nights worked with the gouache um, so I'm definitely keeping that in mind because I, I have a lot more color white nights colors than gouache most of my gouache colors are just the primary colors I just added some lines with my very thins just so I can get a more textured look and this is how it went. In conclusion, I really love these watercolors. They're still my favorite to this day and I hope I made clear in this video why. What do you guys think? What are you guys' favorite watercolors? I would really love to read about them in the comments. And once again, thank you guys for watching and I will be seeing you again soon.